We are just en route to the Sheffield College this morning where I am presenting to a bunch of students from the Business and Enterprise Academy uh, in association with the Sheffield Chamber of Commerce. So I am addressing the students all about confidence and resilience on achieving your goals. So it's that time of the year obviously when um, we've all got good intentions and we're all goal setting. Big year for, for students as well, pivotal time of their, their lives, you know, deciding what they're doing with their careers and, and, and future paths. Uh, so yeah, we're going in deep on how to build and sustain confidence and resilience throughout. Feeling good, feeling excited, very relaxed, but at the same time, a little bit of nerves, I'm not going to lie to you. It's all a very new environment to me in terms of being in the college and in front of the students and in kind of the formality of the lecture theatre itself. So I'm all mic'd up, ready to go and we'll just get this show on the road, hey? I'm here to share with you my best practice on confidence. Everything has a learning around it, if you allow that to happen. It's kind of a, a weird master plan way. There's always learnings in everything. What was really key about the talk today was the, the theme. So talking about confidence and talking about resilience, this is a theme that we're seeing again and again with not only our students, but like young people across the city. It's really having an impact on their decision making, about their aspirations and about their achievement. And so it's really important to me to really make sure that I can offer students the opportunity to develop those skills as well. Um, it gave them the opportunity to, to speak to external employers and also have the opportunity to ask their questions as well. Positive feedback from the students and staff at the end as well and it'll be exciting to see what else we can do in the near future to help students with their personal development, their growth mindset and all of the elements that will help them grow and move forward. So just heading into the cutlery works then for a meeting uh, this is quite a, a, a big strategy meeting for me for HEW. Um, I've shared with you that I'm expanding. I'm actually going in here now to meet somebody who I will be introducing into the team. That's all I'm saying at this point. But for now, I'm going in, get myself a coffee and some awesome food that's available in here. just finished up then, I sat having an amazing meeting with uh, Lauren Brady. Um, Lauren's been working with me for over 12 months and then has been pretty close to me and the business. Um, and just through natural um, development really of how far she's come with her coaching, how far she's grown as a person and what other skills she can bring to the table, i taken the decision to uh, ask Lauren to join me into the business. So you'll be seeing a lot more of Lauren with the HEW brand, which I'm delighted of the fact to share that with you. Um, so today we've, um, we've had a bit of a strategy meeting off the back of um, us organizing things be behind closed doors um, and had the three of us, myself, Joe, and Lauren around the table talking about how then we are moving the brand forward in like throughout 2020. So lots and lots of exciting things coming up ahead. So do watch this space. I'm really, really looking forward to this next chapter.